As you guys know, I have created multiple videos on Anakoji's workout plan, but today, I want to give you guys a new and improved version, also since my videos are a lot higher quality now, so it's a lot different. So let's begin. The most important part of building muscle isn't actually the exercises, but it's the diet. So guys, first I need you guys to go into the BMR calculator where I am right now. The link is in the description below. And we're going to find out our maintenance calories. So as you see over here, I already put down our information. This is basically Anna Koji's information. In this series, he's 17 years old. His height is 5'7", five 5'9", foot five foot that's 177 centimeters. And his weight is probably around 69 kg. And then, if you calculate it, it equals 1,716 calories per day. And then, in the white room, he was probably doing a, probably around very intense exercise daily. So, pretty much, his maintenance calorie would be 3,261. And then, in order to build muscle, they were probably feeding him around 200 more calories than that to stay lean and build muscle. So, he's probably eating around 3,500 calories per day right and then the amount of protein he was probably eating was since he's 100 since he's 69 kg that in pounds is like 156 pounds so he's probably eating around 156 grams of protein per day so basically what you guys want to do is figure out the same for yourself and to prove that you're actually going to take action comment down all this below comment down your maintenance and how much you need to eat it should be around 200 to 300 calories more if you want to bulk you can do like 500 calories more and since i hooked you up with all this just subscribe while you're commenting all right and let's go back to the video so now that we know the diet which is the most important part what is this actual workout well look anakoji is extremely strong and jacked his muscles require much more stimuli in order to break and the whole point of working out is to break your muscle fibers so you can then repair them to become bigger and stronger. So first, I'm going to give his advanced workout in the end so just keep watching but first let me give you a beginner workout because there's probably some of you who can't do a push up. So first I'm going to give a beginner's workout and a skill tree. So the workout frequency, so I want you guys to be doing this three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Or if today is Sunday, just do it today and then do it like the opposite order. So we're gonna start off with a warm up. You always need a warm up, but I like to do is like arm circles, leg swings. I don't do like any light jogging or jumping jacks, but just like just get yourself warmed up. Start doing like dynamic stretches pretty much. And now we're gonna go into the first exercise. So number one is push up. We're gonna do four sets and we're gonna do all four sets till failure. So if one set you can do 50 push-ups you're gonna do 50 push-ups you're gonna keep going till failure you're gonna try to do 51 push-ups and then the second exercise is gonna be bodyweight squats and it's gonna be four sets again and the reps are also gonna be till failure I don't care if you're gonna do 100 reps in one set you want to break your muscle fibers and you can only break your muscle fibers by going beyond what you can actually do and that's going to failure and then the third exercise planks so it's gonna be three sets and the duration is gonna be 30 seconds which is a little bit low but every session we're gonna add 10 seconds the fourth exercise is gonna be pull-ups or body rows if you can't do pull-ups yet like you don't need to be afraid because that's gonna be everything i'm saying like you might be saying yo this is actually a shit workout plan yo relax wait till the skill tree part because the skill tree part is gonna make the everything better Pull-ups, if you don't have a pull-up bar, you can use your backyard fence because that's what I like you to use. You can go to your local park and if there's no local park, there's probably somewhere that you can do pull-ups. So do it. And then there's also body weight rolls, which we'll talk about. It's a lower progression of the pull-up, but we'll go to that during the skill tree. So number five will be dips. So you can use parallel bars or the corner of your kitchen or like basically your chair you can use anything you can even go to your local park it should be there you can definitely do dips if you can't do pull-ups you can find something and we're gonna do three sets and we're gonna go to failure so those last two pull-ups and dips they're all three sets to failure and then we're also gonna do leg raises for abs if you don't know how to do leg raises all you need to do is lie down just to raise your leg three sets to failure now these two are like my personal favorite is neck curls you're gonna do 100 if 
facing up, then you want to like go the opposite direction and then face down into it. This would like be really beneficial because like a lot of you guys have pencil necks and you look like a little scrub, like a henchman. Once you have a thick neck, you can like take punches. It's just like much more like great for you in overall life. And then we're talking about Achilles raises. I don't know if it's called that, but it's basically like the other muscle beside your calf. And it's really important for like ankle mobility. And like if you do jujitsu, you'll never get injured if you do a lot of these. So I just do 100, so like 4 sets of 25. That's what I do for neck curls and Achilles raises. So now, let's move to the progression sheet. So now onto the skill tree. This is what makes the Anakoji workout plan I gave you guys from 0 out of 10 to 10 out of 10. Because as you guys see, I said, oh, do push-ups, do bodyweight squats. You don't actually need to do bodyweight squats or push-ups. You're supposed to do the level on which you're on. So for example, you can do bodyweight squats relatively easily. I think all of us can. Hopefully you can. If you can, that's all good. Just you're at level one right now. You just need to get higher. So then level two, Bulgarian split squats. You can progress to that. That should still be easy for a lot of you guys. Then, then... Cock sack squats. <laughs> this is the level where all of you guys should probably be at right now. So then instead of doing body weight squats, just replace it with the level you're actually at. I'm gonna be sending this file in the description below so you can just go on to it. But you want to progress to this and just do four sets of cock sack squats to failure. And then for reference, like Anakoji, like he's probably at like weighted pistol squats four sets still failure that's probably where he does the white rum so if you want to get to his level go do that and get to that level second is pull-up routine so a lot of you guys probably can do pull-up because it's pretty hard it even took me a while so you can start off at bent over rows if you don't have weighted bent over rows you can use like a towel and like slowly squeeze it you can just search up a video find like a bar and passively hang like these are the first two levels like doing these will get you to your first pull up level 2 australian pull ups these will definitely help so if you ha can't do your first pull up do these first scalp pull up pull ups exactly those two then eventually you can do pull ups then you can do australian wait where is it then you can start doing like muscle ups etc etc weighted pull ups etc now push ups you can we all better be able to do push ups like I bet if you're watching this, you can probably do a push-up. You can probably do a normal push-up. So then start moving to like the level three tricep extensions. Then go to diamond push-ups. Then go to wide push-ups. Then go to archer push-ups. Then go to explosive push-ups. Then lastly, just get to Anakoji's level where he's probably doing weighted one-arm push-ups. And then etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is the full tree. And then there's also like for every single exercise in that workout plan. There's always a harder variation. If it's too easy, if you're doing like 50 reps of push-ups, you should be moving on to like the diamond push-up or the explosive push-up or even the archer push-up. If you're doing 50 reps of bodyweight squats, you want to move on to the Cossack squat or a pistol squat easier variation until you're doing 50 reps of the hard pistol squat. And lastly, for all these exercises, if you can't make progress on like level one, say you're stuck on level one from doing normal push-ups, just get a backpack and put some books in it. Just add weight to all your exercises as well if you can't level up. But just following this simple skill tree will make it way more fun and way more rewarding and you're going to break the most fo muscle fibers as possible. Lastly, to wrap up this video is the Advanced Series 1 Under Koji White Room Workout. So this one will involve weight, but by the time you're at this level, like, just start going to the gym already, like, what the fuck's wrong with you? So, the funny thing about this workout is that it's extremely hard, like, to be honest, like, I don't even think, like, I'm at this level yet to do, like, consistently. Because you guys have to realize that this workout is made by, like, a special force member. Like, this is, like, a really hard workout, like, I doubt any of you guys could probably do this but this is like an advanced workout that you guys wanted so badly so as you can see pull is five sets of weighted pull-ups five sets of weighted pull-ups and pull-ups i don't know why it says that the second the secondary work is hand cleans 
so that basically like an olympic workout where you're like getting the bar you bring it up and down up and down gut that means abs 100 re-ups so that's a form like a sit-up 100 russian twists that's when you're like moving around while you're lying down and then metcon is like basically for like your nervous system and like your basically your cardiovascular system is 25 pull-ups and then you run 400 meters and you do that for four sets then here it just tells you what you're supposed to do like how do you do it i'm gonna send the link to this in the description below if any of you guys can actually do this record yourself doing it like you don't be using five pounds for the way to pull-ups like actually do it clean like can do 25 pull-ups in a row then run 400 meters like i'd like to see that like i'm almost at this level <laughs> so then let's go to push-ups then the push so primary work weighted ring dips and then weighted bar dips as you guys can see like this is like really similar to my beginner workout so as you can if you continue progressing in my beginner workout eventually you can get to this level gut is five sets of hanging leg raises so just when you hang on the bar and just bring your leg up and then metcon is power snatches which is like an olympic lift clap push-ups and burpees 20 15 10 5 see like this is what jocko Wilnick does in the special forces so you can see like it's pretty hard but if you can get to this level you're gonna be a beast then lift so it's a four day split it's pull push lift squat then lift primary work is snatch clean and jerk and then deadlifts these are all olympic lifts so really for your back and strength ghd setups times 100 reps metcon 100 meter shuffle runs and then this shows the instructions on how to do it and then lastly squat so overhead squats that's when you're holding the bar overhead and squatting front squat and then back squat and then for your gut he trains abs every day leg raises hanging leg raises and then metcon is a two mile run and then the instructions here so i'll give you guys a link in the description below if you guys can do this please send the video and at me and that's it for you guys for today's video and thank you guys for watching